Mrs. Suzuka here. So, what are unions? I just whooshed over it, kind of assuming. I'm sorry. Now I'm thinking if there's anything relevant to say before unions. So, there is the scenario. Okay, there's something to say. Okay, scenario number one. Simple villages, just like what you watch in these movies, which are like fantasy movies, where the Vikings appeared, and you got a little village, and then, you know, the villagers, they all kind of live together. They all fish, or they all do woodwork, and eventually they separated these, these works, right? And one did the fishing, and the other, or maybe, maybe many did, and another did the shoes, and another did the iron work. A happy little village. And then went on and on and on and on, and the villages grew larger. But still, everyone had their little niche, and all together. Then suddenly, you know, someone said, I'm going to do the bread for everyone. So we don't have to make each household doesn't have to do the bread. I will do the bread for you. So that became the baker, because he baked. Another said, well, it takes a lot of strength to do all that iron work, to cast the iron. And I'm afraid I like it a lot. And I've been doing it. You know, my father did it too. And I learned it since I was young, a child. And I like it. I'm going to just take care of it too, for all of you. Oh, that's cool. You know, because then another one said, well, you know, I'm really good at... Just like in that theater play, El hombre que siembra las flores, siembra con amor. Mm. La niña que canta y baila, quiere una flor. Te gusta, me gusta, rico sabor. Toma la 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 That was actually the Pope. He had to eliminate first, like, pretty much the population with the past. And, and he, it was terrible. Uh, the humanity had to be re restructured. You know, the knights came in and destroyed the villages. And eventually what it all came down to is to pretty much murder everyone who had any idea of happy life. And, or wisdom in order to create this dark society and not even secret in which if you abuse and overpower all the others and then came the industrial revolution and that means I'm gonna take all of you like hand counts head counts or maybe leg counts or maybe you know, for the physical body you have, and you come now, and you produce for me. Now, it could only happen after they destroyed the villages. That means where people were separated and had no more organization to be, that word is very useful and very powerful, sustainable. Sustainable is something where you can maintain a life, something unproductive, within harmony in the environment. Like pro-earth, <laughs> right? Pro-nature, pro-human. So once those were destroyed, people were hungry, starving. They had no more. They were fleeing from their, from their places. They were, the villages were literally burned out and they were like, not nomads, but trying to find... Anyhow, cities were conglomerated. People were living and hiding too. They were persecuted because of religious or supposedly religious beliefs because the new religion came in town. That was the Pope. So it didn't take a long time. Now, the thing is that there's a few splits in history, right? Because the buildings had been there. The art had been there when the Pope came along. It just took everything over, just kind of created a new breed. I'd say the dumb arses. 
So when people were hungry, and that's actually similar to how the Second World War started, or maybe even the first one, people were hungry, living in crisis. So suddenly someone comes up and says, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a, you know, a mass production for something because now we have more people and build a factory. So not everyone has to do the one thing and the one thing only. And that is like, it probably started with manufacturing. Like when you see like the tables of every, of like hundreds of women sewing. And the same as um, any, any fabric, any factory has this always repetitive work. The thing is, you stop thinking, you stop breathing. And when you need the work, you get the work, and then you have to su- you have to submit to what the work tells you to do. And so, what the bonds, the big bosses would do, they would take people, any people, all of the people, and let them work for eighteen hours a day, every day of the week, and giving them a miserable salary. So they had to continue doing so because they could not survive without. And they also had to send their children, if the children had parents anyways. And it was a terrible abuse. And that went on for a very long time. So people were sick, they were not sustained, it was cold, it was terrifying. That's the really, really negative and downsides of the Industrial Revolution. I have a really hard time to speak clear. I'm tired, but I'm also so outraged. So outraged about it. So borderline crying. Anyway, so eventually something came up and that was a a click in someone's mind. And someone had this click in his mind, or her maybe, and said, but she could not send someone because women were despised by the Pope. So it had to be a he. And said, you know, look look at the bosses, what they want. They want us to work for them. And they're rich and be poor, right? Yeah. So what if we stop working? Huh? Yeah, because without us, they have nothing. Really? Well, yeah, really. You think we depend on them? We do, but they do depend much more on us, the workers, to actually produce that what they do and make that big fat money. Get it? Ah, the only thing what we have to do, what? We have to power up and make a union, unify us, do the same. Uh Uh-huh, because the only way and the only reason they can exploit us is because we're all separated. So people cannot be against each other, they have to be together. So they formed the unions where they say, okay, together we hold it and now we're going to go and we're going to teach those a lesson because we need more money. They have to give us the money. So it's either you give us more money or you don't give. That's a very, it was a very, very tricky, very hard, very, very difficult process because who is strong enough to hold it together? So what these people to unify did and that's very tricky I say it again because many people died in the process they opted for big giving out a strike and a strike is when the workers say we're just not going to work but you have to be unified in order to do that there is no other way now Remember, sometimes we need to put things into perspective of history. That was then and now is now. And that's my point. There is no more exploitation. And not in my world. I mean, there's still people who want to exploit others. So I'm being exploited on a constant basis. And it's not sustainable. They don't want to do their job. They want to blame maybe me or anyone else for it. That's not sustainable. I don't need that. No one does. Back then, when 
the majority had nothing. They did from the union. They did that resolved issues about salary over a very long period of time and very arduous fights because when someone skips out of that union it's that simple okay you don't want to work for me i'm gonna grab other workers and that happened a lot as well very hard to create that balance but eventually it kicked in and it took again a long time to bring the 18 hours down to the current I don't know, I think European, I don't know if it's in America, the same thing, 40, 40 hour a week. And working only five days a week. And only eight hours a day with a break. That's like, that's a, from 18 hours, seven days a week to that, it's a long time in history. And they voted eventually, they got groups together and voted for who's going to represent us as a group to talk to the big bosses. See, and that is it's a very powerful scene when suddenly the whole factory is shut down and the workers are standing. They don't go home, they stand there showing. <clears throat> they're not just skipping work, they're fighting for their rights all together. And hard because they had to support each other because they would not be paid those days, which usually did not last that many days. I don't know, two days, three days, four days a week, two weeks. Hard because men starving, women starving, kids starving. Hard. But it can only happen when people kind of stay together. Make the union and, and tell them, tell the bosses, well, who's boss? Well, I'm boss, but that's how far you can get with us. So then they would sit and still, I mean, Still, to very recently, they would sit for long hours on tables, the representative of the people who work, the workers, the union leaders maybe, and the representative of the bosses, and then now their lawyers on tables and negotiate the little percentage of the augmentation of the salary to survive. Which, of course, if you go back to inflation, is nothing. It's a shitload of shits, so that's what that is. The inflation is when you when you have a dollar or whatever currency you got and you can buy milk and bread with it and suddenly you have the same dollar and you can't buy milk and bread and you, you only can buy half of the milk and no more bread. That's what inflation is and it sucks. And just because someone said so, there's no need to explain it to you in thousands of different words. There's really no need. It's totally absurd. It's making it all so complicated. What was this really again? It was so funny. 60 minus, huh? nine blah 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 and the end nothing worked out that that's very great i didn't associate it at the time then let's factor it and then blah more complication at the end well you couldn't do it and that's how that's exactly how they did that about the economy it's like you have the baker and he bakes the bread right so and instead of just giving it out to everybody around and i mean little village Everyone in the same street. No, no, they take a car. The car is kind of broken, so they kind of have to walk. Oh my God, there's a problem in our economy right now because now we can't have the car. We have to walk. And then they go, and then there is a river, and you can't take a boat. And then he travels half Europe with the bread. By the time he arrives there, the bread is already stale, of course. And maybe he was assaulted on the minute, and there were some robbers going on. They were probably hired also by the one who wanted to, you know economize the economy by being economically not viable because this has happened a lot when people demonstrate then the the, the 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 people in the power they put in like bullies like punks or to subjugate the workers or the people who want to fight for their rights to oh those are not good and so in the public opinion the, the, for the ones who haven't fought yet they look oh that's just, that, that's not a good scenario I don't want to be part of it or giving you, you know, a vaccine with illness to show you that you can't get healthy. It's, 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 all, it's totally absurd. I can round it up right now. Obstructing human life. Obstructing by putting words into it, by subtracting life force, and by enhancing everything that is negative. It's, it makes no sense. So unions was, was one of these <clears throat> unifications which could 
spend hands for work having a, be a better a better time but a better time doesn't mean a good time and definitely it's not a great a great time and in my view from my perspective it's all a great waste of time because it's unfair unjust and sucks to the skies so i cry i vomit i just i'm totally outraged with the whole thing but then again and I, <clears throat> when you would say in the, those times we don't want it this way so what do you want C communism god forbid right sharing having health insurance and, and, and living spaces your for sure and your transportation and you're safe you always have food no man that's dangerous <laughs> shit i mean seriously so <clears throat> yeah is there anything else i have to say see those are that and the little drops you know like oh i feel sick oh take a little drop but they continue polluting the water so people got more sick but they didn't really told you because who understands water right okay take a little medicine no i just sold you a medicine too and you think mm, i'm doing the best i can and people got more sick and then they died that's what that economy capitalism all is about And nobody really wants to be where he or she is, ever. Everybody loses the whole thing. And everybody feels like a loser all the time. And when a winner feels he's a winner, he doesn't really feel like it because now he has to do some more. Because tomorrow it's going to be another second. It's going to take this winning place away. Because there's only one big person in capitalism and all the others are suckers. And that's not how, how, how God has intended. Maybe there's one God, but it's not suckers. It's like people who want to live in harmony and enjoy life. And that's how I see it.